Assalamu alaikum. I am Abeda and today we are going to discuss steps in a typical chemical analysis. Before uh, going to discuss about steps in a typical chemical analysis, we have to go through number of factors. The first one is what is the problem and what needs to be found. So to an analytical chemist you can have different kinds of client. For example, your client can be environmental protection agency or he or she may be a pharmaceutical chemist or she may be your grandmother. So you must first know that what is the problem and what needs to be found and also whether you want to do qualitative analysis or quantitative analysis depending upon the requirement of your client. So your client may be a layman who for example want to find the total number of elements present in his or her sample. So you must clarify or you must inform him or her that there are millions of compounds present. For example, if she or he has a sample which has a number of elements and she want to determine all the elements present, so you must clarify her that there are for example 85 elements and each element for example can cost $20 and then she or he has to pay 85 into $20 that is $1700 which is quite a lot. So first uh, you need to clarify all the ambiguities and need to tell your client that what can be uh, what can be the problems and uh, also uh, whether uh, they need qualitative or quantitative analysis because as we have discussed in the previous lectures some uh, tests they need to be only uh, qualitative while uh, 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 we have to go for quantitative analysis only in limited uh, number of cases. And also what will be the information used for, what, who will use it. Uh, for example, uh, you may come across uh, a cosmetic uh, person who want to uh, do reverse engineer engineering uh, uh, for a cosmetic product so that uh, they can, uh, they may be sure about the products, uh, about the chemicals present, uh, for example, in this cosmetic pro, uh, product and then after doing reverse engineering, they can uh, make this product um, of, uh, uh, from a low, co low cost and then uh, they can be fortune, for example. But then uh, you have to tell them that there are a number of processes. Uh, in that case, uh, we have to perform qualitative as well as quantitative uh, process and uh, maybe the cost of this process is much more. Uh, so you must be sure uh, uh, that what kind of analysis is needed and what is the need of your client. Or uh, you may have a client uh, who is, uh, for example, an anxious mother and whose son uh, has stated that the tablet uh, he is showing uh, or he is taking uh, usually uh, of often most often is vitamin C and it is of white color. So uh, although you cannot perform test on this tablet but if he is of the view that there is vitamin C then it should at least give test for ascorbic acid. So in this way uh, which is vitamin C. So you can fulfill the need of uh, uh, this anxious mother. 
and uh, yes when will it be needed so uh, as i have previously mentioned that uh, uh, you can perform um, your test as a low low cost if you are sure that what type of tests are needed so you, uh, then you do not do not need to perform unnecessary test which can cost more how accurate and precise does it have to be this is a very important point right so it will depend again upon the requirement of the client that how much accuracy and precision he or she is needed and again uh, uh, more accurate and more precise result uh, also increase the cost of the measurement and again what is the budget yes this is this is the you know limiting factor this is the main criterion actually that how much amount you have and how much money you can spend in order to perform a test the analyst should consult with the client to plan a useful and efficient analysis including how to obtain a useful sample yes so the sample which analyst will take uh, from uh, from the whole uh, quantity actually of course if we have a very big sample then we cannot um, uh, perform test with the whole sample uh, whole material we we will only take a sample of this material so the sample actually should be representative of the whole material so analyst should be sure about that the result she or he is reproducing this should represent the whole material so in this step there are various types of statistical analysis involved then we have to select a method uh, uh, that which the sample type we are going to use then um, size of sample sample preparation needed um, some tests they also need um, uh, sample uh, preparation for example they need derivatization precipitation or uh, sometime we have to extract the sample by mean of solvent extraction so we must be sure that in which type the sample should be uh, present so that we can perform an analysis concentration and range yes these are different factors how much accuracy and pcn needed which tools yes and instruments available so we have to uh, prepare the samples according to the tools or instruments which are available for example if we want to measure the concentration of a substance by mean of uv visible so we have to you know make a diluted sample and we must uh, be sure about that how much dilution factor is and then we can multiply this dilution factor with the result at the end and analyst uh, will also be sure that uh, about his or her expert expertise or experience so that he or she can make good result cost and speed of the experimentation does it need to be automated yes you, then you can uh, if if uh, you can made it uh, automated then you not, do not need to present all the time on the machine and uh, you can just feed the instructions and then machine will take the sample and operate automatically and then it can make your work much easier are methods available in the chemical literature oh yeah this is this is a very important factor right this is very important thing um, that the method you are using whether uh, it has already been used in the uh, literature or you are going to make a new protocol are standard methods available sometime uh, we have to make a new method and if standard methods are available that that will be very good but sometime we have to we have to be innovative to make the measurement or uh, are there regulations that need to be followed yes this is also very important point and, th and that we need to follow that uh, the methods which we are going to use all uh, are these legal um, legally they are approved so we have to consider all these facts and figures in order to perform analytical process 
as we have already said obtaining a representative sample this is very very important um, uh, for example if we have a very big community out of which we have to perform some experimentation then the sample which we will select this should be a representative uh, of the community so we have to uh, then uh, consider factors uh, that which type of sample we should take sample should be homogeneous so that it can represent the whole community we should also be concerned about the size so uh, we we should uh, select a sample size which can represent the community and then we will perform on it sample statistics and uh, uh, how much error we can accept so we have to you know consider all these factors uh, then prepare the sample for analysis as I have already said uh, uh, there are some instrumentation they required that the sample should be present in a specific physical state for example on a um, UV visible uh, spectroscopy we can perform result in liquid state so if we have a sample in solid state then we have to perform uh, we have to make first its dilute solution right so uh, likewise sample may be liquid or gas and uh, the instrument which we use if it need a uh, solid sample so if we we have to derivatize by means of derivatization or some other mean we have to convert this liquid sample into solid or sometimes the sample is in gaseous form so we will select a technique or instrument which which can analyze the sample in gaseous form right um, again um, we have to select the for example regions in which sample is soluble or uh, we can uh, we have to make for example ash ashes like in elemental anal analysis we have to burn uh, the chemical compound and then at the end we can get ashes so it depends on what is our requirement chemical separation or making of interferences needed uh, uh, sometimes the sam uh, sample require uh, separation of its components so we can use uh, uh, chromatographic techniques for example for the separation of different components and then we can perform analytical or oh, sorry qualitative or quantitative analysis need to concentrate the analytics yes. as uh, in the um, previous discussion I have mentioned that we have to dilute the sample so sometimes we uh, we also have to uh, concentrate the uh, sample so for uh, in order to make concentration for example we can use the process of evaporation and in this way we can get the sample in concentrated form need to change the analyte for detection already we have discussed uh, and sometime we uh, also have to adjust solution conditions for example pH by adding some kind of rejects then uh, when we will have a sample in the proper form then we can perform for example any necessary chemical separations for chemical separations we can use we have already discussed a bit so for uh, necessary chemical separations the techniques which we can use these are distillation precipitation solvent extraction solvent phase solid phase extraction we can use chromatography uh, and we can use for example electrophoresis for addition of components of mixture then uh, the other factors which we need for performing the measurement it is calibration validation of the method which we are using right and then we have to perform experiments in replicate so all these are the uh, requirements or the factors which are uh, necessary for performing the measurement then we will calculate the results and then we will make a report on it and it will include statistical analysis and statistical analysis which we will use we must be sure about it that which kind of statistical analysis is the requirement of the method and then we have to report results with limitations 
uh, accuracy uh, information and analyst cannot uh, report result as 0% or 100% for example if we are provided with a sample um, uh, of water in order to check its purity so we will uh, make a report that what kind of elements or um, uh, what kind of substances are present in it and then uh, yes we can mention in the report uh, the safe limit for example of these are elements so um, then the customer itself will decide uh, depending upon the results you have uh, provided to him or her that this water is drinkable or not so you will only uh, give the limits or the results and a report but the customer will itself decide that uh, these types of material are present in the water sample so he or she um, um, can decide himself or herself that the water is drinkable or not depending upon your recommendations um, interpret carefully for intended our audience yes you have to make the results very critically um, you have to evaluate, evaluate the results very critically and uh, if any alterations these are needed so you have to perform the results again and again so